Hi designers, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a seamless pattern in Photoshop. So here is a quick preview of some that I just created. And let's start with a new document. I do want to know what the document size is. Let's go with 1200 by 1200 pixels. Create, and I'm going to generate a new texture. You can start with an existing texture or background image. Let's select everything and use generative fill. And let's do raspberries background texture. And I want these to be much smaller. So I could generate again, or let's try to go with one of these. I'm going to go ahead and rasterize it because generative fill takes a lot of memory when we keep it as a live layer. Using control T, I'm going to scale this down, holding down option. Use our selection marquee, M for shortcut. Let's select inside the square and inverse that selection. Let's right click and delete that layer mask. Click Generative Fill with no prompt this time. Either of these two are looking pretty good. So in the Layers panel, I'm going to go ahead and merge these. I also like to keep copies by doing Control J. But let's do Control E to merge them. Duplicate this layer by either dragging it to the plus sign or Control J. Next, let's go to Filter. Other, Offset, and like I said, we need to know the canvas size. So mine's 1200, so half of that is 600. So I want to set that on both horizontal and vertical, and we want it to wrap around. Now we have a couple of options with this new layer. We can either add a mask to the layer and use the brush tool to try to get rid of those hard lines. Or another option is to use our selection marquee and select both axes of those edges and do generative fill again. And you can always scale and double check with both of these layers now to see that it's blended correctly. But let's try, let's go ahead and see how this one did. Let's select everything. Control A, and in your Patterns palette, under Window, Patterns, click the plus sign to add new. And in our Layers panel with the black and white circle, let's add a pattern layer and select the new pattern. And now we can scale it to see how it did. And a little bit of an edge here is catching my eye, so we could go back to our original layer to work on that further. All right, let's create another one from an existing image. Make sure that the image is cropped. So when I tap C for crop, make sure this is checked to delete cropped pixels and hit enter and duplicate the layer control j filter offset and i'm just going to use the brush and mask for this one and selecting both layers duplicate control j merge control e and select everything the plus sign to add the pattern. And with our pattern fill layer, we can just swap that out. And rescale it. And you can always touch up any spots that maybe have different levels of highlights that stand out. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please like the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Take care.